feuding Prince William and Harry had disastrous row that couldn't be diffused. A palace source says Kate Middleton is trying desperately to mend the rift between Prince William and Harry. Prince William and Prince Harry had a disastrous row that could not be diffused over the different paths in life they are now on, a royal insider has claimed. The princes are said to have been barely speaking to one another during a crucial time in the history of the monarchy. This has led to the Duchess of Cambridge playing peacemaker in an effort to mend the hurtful growing royal rift. While William is being prepared to become king one day, Harry is forging his own path which before meeting his wife Meghan had been severely lacking, a palace source has said. It also comes as the world watches for news of the imminent arrival of Harry's first child with Meghan Markle. Royal watchers noticed the brothers appeared to avoid each other at the Easter Sunday service, and stood either side of Zara and Mike Tyndall before greeting the Queen at St. George's Chapel. The hurtful rift which both parties have refused to put to bed has led William's wife Kate to try to repair a complete and utter breakdown of communication between the brothers. Her advice led to Harry and Meghan inviting them to their new home at Windsor after they all attended church on Easter Sunday. A palace source said, the Duchess and Harry have developed a very close bond over the years. Kate is acutely aware of the importance of William and Harry getting along, not just because of perception but their collective responsibility to the monarchy as a whole. Harry has acted as counsel to his brother throughout William and Kate's more turbulent years and the three of them had gone on to form the most tremendous partnership. They had tea and chatted for around 30 minutes at Frogmore Cottage. Kate forged a very strong friendship with Harry after she and Wills worked closely with him to launch the Royal Foundation and the mental health charity Heads Together. They were neighbors at Kensington Palace before Harry married Meghan, with William once joking that he would often come over to raid food from the fridge. In contrast, at the Anzac Day commemorations at Westminster Abbey yesterday, Harry and Kate chatted and smiled, looking completely comfortable together. A body language expert says the way the pair acted at the Abbey made it clear that if anyone has fallen out, it's not Prince Harry and Kate Middleton. Judy James noted the way the pair matched the pace of their walk, and shared genuine toothy smiles and laughter as they were pictured during yesterday's ceremony. The eyes really do reveal our innermost thoughts so when someone is pretending to get on well with someone they have a problem with or dislike the eye contact is usually darting and sporadic, she wrote for the mirror yesterday. Harry and Kate used sustained eye contact here though, even when they were walking and they appear to use it to spark off one another in terms of their laughter. She noted that there was no sign of Harry trying to grin and chat to his brother at Easter last week. However he did lean across to chat to Kate. William was in New Zealand, where he met five-year-old Christchurch terror attack survivor Alan al Saudi and greeted New Zealand PM Jacinda Ardern with a traditional Maori hongi, greeting by pressing noses. The princes have long carried a heavy burden as saviors of the monarchy. Harry has revealed that no one wants to be king but the family is committed to the throne for the greater good of the people. The brothers created an image which became seared on the national consciousness as boys walking behind their mother Diana's coffin at her funeral 20 years ago. As they transformed in handsome, confident men, first in the armed forces and then with their charitable roles, their bond seemed unbreakable. But Harry has spoken in the past about making something of his life himself. He said, I feel there is just a smallish window when people are interested in me before, William's children, take over. Courtiers hopes the two couples would become a fab for highlighting joint causes have also been dampened since Harry and Meghan's move from Kensington Palace. A plan for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to carry out large charity and conservation projects in Africa, which could see them move abroad for up to six months at a time, has also added to the worrying situation that has developed. One courtier said, Harry and Meghan decide to live in Africa for months at a time, the divisions could expand rapidly. The Sussexes are intent on forging their own path, apart from the constraints they feel restrict the Cambridges. This is not even much to do with the differences between them and their wives, a lot of which has been overplayed by people who don't know much about the situation. Any issues between William and Meghan are wide of the mark but a specific conflict has led to a deep and personal falling out that could not be diffused nor abated. It is said the Queen and the Prince of Wales have even plotting to stage an intervention. Another source said, there is a very real fear that if the princes do not repair their relationship, it may reach a point where it is too late. 
Not only would that be hugely damaging to them and their families, it would be potentially catastrophic as we move into the most revealing era for the royals. They are the future of the monarchy, its standing in Britain, throughout the Commonwealth and the world. After the years of negativity from the generation before them, behavior that fueled constant headaches and heartache, there was hope that the brothers would continue to be each other's stay and support. But that seems to have completely faded now. It can be very lonely at the top and sometimes William is left feeling that he is facing such tremendous responsibility alone. His wife is a great support, but what they have experienced as children and the history they share is incomparable. At the very core, that is what has hurt them both so deeply. But at one point, one of them is going to have to swallow their pride and admit there is a problem that needs addressing, before all is lost.